Hey, what's up? It's No Neves, and um, today we're doing mixing a verse, and this is part of the Tutorial Tuesday group of things I'm doing. So yeah, first of all, you want to make sure you go to the Facebook page, slash No Neves. Go on that page, like it, ask any questions there. If you have anything, go there. And um, second of all, I'm also doing mixing services, doing $5 tracks and $40 mixtapes or albums. Just send me the stuff, and I'll send it right back to you. And we can do some more. Just hit me up if you have any questions. Um, okay, so we get right into it. <sighs> so mixing a verse, and um, so first thing about mixing a verse, the couple of main things that the verse is um the main focus of the song. It's like the main part of the song because it's the rap. You know what I mean? That's part. That's what where all the messages and yeah so it's the most part is you have to mix it like that and you need to be loud and clear and this is so that they can hear and understand what's going on and yeah so you, you use compression eq reverb blah blah to make to do that also when you're mixing over an mp3 instrumental like this this one track um these most of the time are already been mastered so what you want to do is just mix the beat or mix the vocals underneath it so that it sounds good and you have enough of both the vocal and the um, beat and one thing a lot of people do wrong and I don't think I was doing for wrong for a lot I still do is they'll mix the vocal too loud and it might sound, sound alright but the only difference is you're taking up space um, in headroom for the beat so like the beat won't be as loud so then if you pull it down you'll be able to still hear the vocal but then the beat will still be loud and clear and it'll be more have more resolution and everything okay um some recent changes that i've been doing to my mixing um i have been using a lot less background vocals and overdubs and um because i noticed is that when i use them kind of detract from the verse and you kind of want to have all the focus on the verse and that's like the main important thing because you want to be able to hear every word and hear every part of it like this one part over here i only have because it's like the beat i, I cut the beat out i really don't like using i don't really use too much overdubs in a lot of these songs but there's some songs i still do use it so i can't say i never use it okay so yeah i'll just have like a clean verse right here you can take a look at the compressor even though it's gonna be different every time and what I do is I just crank this gain, this gain up now. I turn it off auto and just crank this up until it sounds good. Say so you get the compressor right and then you just adjust the fader. And that's what the EQ looks for like this track. Um yeah, both the, the compressor and EQ is gonna be different for every track, so you, you yeah. But actually I've been using this kind of EQ a lot for a lot of them. I just roll off the bottom, I just make this cut here and then I used to have these boosting but then I just kept bringing them back more and more and then now they don't even like it's not even there but it's kind of like a little nudge whatever but it still sounds pretty natural what I do is I'll just leave this like that because I, I guess like when you boost a lot you'll start getting phasing and, and or stuff like that blah blah so yeah I try not to EQ too much I'll just turn up the fader or turn up the compressor because the compressor sounds good but don't compress too much don't like crank it up too much but you want it to be nice and loud to fill up the just fill up your ears loudness okay and um yeah it's so gonna keep it nice yeah so you want it to be nice and clear and um yeah so you listen to a lot of the um a lot of commercial artists too a lot of them this will have like no background vocals or dubs too because yeah, if you listen to drake or low or anything a lot of the tracks are just just a straight rapping track and um yeah, it's easier to focus on what's going on in the song and the lyrics, which is the most important. Because it's telling the story. Also, okay, one thing that I do, because I haven't really, I, 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 I use a lot of automation, but I don't use it too much because I feel like it gets too messy for me. 
but this is one way you can work around it. Uh, basically, if you wanted to put any part, like say you want to delay through at the I end, you had to cut off this one part at the end, and then you could just duplicate it. Right click, duplicate track, click on it, bring it down. So then these are going to be the same tracks. And then you want to adjust it from here. Let me turn it up and throw a delay on it. Fuck it, we'll just throw some distortion on it too. Crank it out. Okay. Okay, some shit like that. Okay. Okay, something like that. Okay. So you want to do that, you just sit on a separate track and then you can mix that totally differently. And then, um, sometimes I'll have like four or five tracks going down to different parts and just breaking the verse up in different parts that you want to and throwing different shit on them, whether it's the flanger or all that shit. Just putting them on vocals, trying different things and seeing what works, seeing what doesn't. Um, and just learning how to use all the shit better too, like learning how to use each of the, the plugins and the, um, like compressor, EQ, blah, blah, blah. Learning how to set them right, like cause I just throw a lot of them on before and just like ah, whatever it sounds good, but like if you really sit there and you tweak everything and you get everything sounding good, it will sound bomb. So yeah, main thing of verse, keep it simple. Yeah, on to the next part. Yeah, so you wanna make sure you have it in a loop like this. And the way you do this is you hold Control. It'll go like this. And now we the this side of the the loop. You you con yeah. control and then click right over here, and then um, Alt on PC, and you can just control like that. And I'll make it a might be gray like that. So from there, make a loop. Press Alt um, forward slash on the number key on the number pad, and every time you play, It'll just loop and you want to set your loop and just mix just let it run and just keep mixing and tweaking and getting everything sounding right go through every parameter get every fucking thing sounding good so yeah your reverb on the vocal you want to keep it like tight and small and um just to keep a nice butt like background to the vocal and what i'll do is yeah set this as a send well it goes over here oh fuck yeah, that's why you need to name your reverbs too. Name your reverb and stay organized. Okay. Yeah, right there. So find destination for sure. <coughs> you adjust the fader there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then you want to play it between this and this. These are, I don't know. I just like do that and then like I try to get a nice blend, a nice sound. And that's basically it. And you just do that with every single knob. <laughs> and basically, this is. Um, Deciding how much you send and blah 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 and how much you get back or whatever. I don't know. But um yeah. Just play with it till you get a sonic. Yeah, just sit back and ask like questions like isn't does the vocal need to be louder and just bring it up. And like does is the reverb too loud turned down? And um just keep listening and using your ears and, and keep mixing. Forget your number, forget your name. Bill popping, bump a couple lines, cause she's still shopping. Wheel rocking, got that pussy out like I still wanna kill on him. What I notice when you find it, just try to go back to your 10.2. Go back to zero or drop it down and then just try to find it again. And this will allow you to try hearing it at different levels and you might actually find out you can bring it down more. And also they kind of like the key is you can always bring it down more because when you're mix mixing over these mastered MP3s, you want the beat to be as loud as possible. So you want the the in, you want the um, vocal to actually be almost as soft as possible and out of the way as beat as much possible because the beat will sound better. Yeah, I went over delayed throws and find your distortion. Yeah, you heard about Just keep breaking down do new tracks like this and do whatever you're going to do. Yeah. Shift T, delete, okay. 
or, or no? Yeah, okay. Yeah, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Just keep mixing. That's pretty much it, how, how I mix a verse. And if you have any questions, keep asking me. Throw it on fa fa my Facebook, facebook.com slash no knees. And um, yeah, thanks for checking out my videos. Sorry for the audio problems. My mic is like just, I need to get a new cord, I think, a new XLR cord order for the mic. And it just sucks. So until then, I'm sorry. I just have to deal with it because that's, 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 I can't really do anything about it. If you want, send me a mic. Somebody send me some gear. I would love free gear. And, um, but yeah. All right. Thank you for checking out the video. I'm going to be putting another one next week, Tuesday. All right. Take it easy. Snow and Eve's. Peace.